In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create new categories using WordPress and how to organize your blog posts into new categories you have to uh, you have created. And as an example, I'm going to use blogsmarty.com and currently I don't have any categories created, so I'll create three categories. And um, all of the blog posts that I'm going to create for blogsmarty are going to be about uh, Bluehost or WordPress. So I will need to organize my, my blog posts into these uh, two categories. So to create a new category, I'll go to, back to uh, WordPress and under posts, I can find categories. So I'll click on that uh, option. And uh, one, once page load, I can see that by default, when I set up my WordPress, I have one category created uncategorized. And the two blog posts that I have already published are grouped under this category. So I'm going to create a new category and I'll call it video tutorials, video tutorials. And I can leave slug empty or I can type something like video uh, dash tutorials. And Slug is the URL friendly version of the name or it's a friendly URL to the category or the page uh, when you create it. For example, when I create this category, I can find blog posts uh, under this category by going to category um, forward slash and then video dash tutorials. So that's going to be uh, a friendly version of my URL. And if I um, uh, type something else uh, under the Slack, I will have to use that something else here. So for example, best video tutorials and my Slack will have to be, will have to look like this, best video tutorials. So it's good to think about your Slack, um, like in terms of keywords, um, that your video tutorials are about and then use that keyword as part of the Slack. That will improve your uh, search engine optimization. Okay, and then the parent category, I will uh, use um, none for this moment because that's going to be a root uh, category for my video tutorials and description I can leave empty at this moment. So I will click on add new category and my new category is created. So I'll create a couple of uh, more categories and that's going to be subcategories. And one of them is going to be Bluehost. And I will leave Slack empty, but I will choose a different parent. So video, Bluehost video tutorials are going to go under video tutorials. And I'll click on add new category. So I have Bluehost created and I will add one more subcategory and that's going to be WordPress. And WordPress is also going to go under video tutorials. Okay, I have three categories created. My main category video tutorials and two subcategories, which are WordPress and Bluehost. So let me now go under posts and organize my two blog posts that I have under these uh, categories. So I will click on um, posts or all posts link. And I should have a list of blog posts that I have and I have two. And I can see now that currently they are organized under uncategorized category. So for um, to change that category, I'll edit um, my blog post, click on edit link. I'll scroll down a little bit. And here under categories on the right side, I can change which category I want this blog post to be available under. So I will uncheck uncategorize and I will uh, check video tutorials and WordPress. This blog post is about how to update blog title and tagline. Yes, so this goes under video tutorials and um, WordPress. And I'll click on update button to update that. I will uh, go back to all posts and now I will edit the second video that I have, Bluehost and WordPress quick start. And I'll scroll down and I'll uncheck uncategorized and that's going to be video tutorials and Bluehost. And I will click on update button to apply my changes. 
and I will click again on all posts to preview. If I scroll down, I see that uh, my first blog post or my last blog post update blog title and tagline is available under two categories, video tutorials and WordPress. And Bluehost is available under Bluehost and video tutorials. And if I go to blogsmarty.com um, homepage, I can scroll down and find categories section here. Now I see that I have this uh, three categories available. Video tutorial will host, uh, will have all blog posts. And if I go under Bluehost, it will have only one blog, uh, blog post available. And if I go under WordPress, it will also have only one. And you can see that the slug is here. So it's um, blogsmarty.com forward slash category video tutorials as a root category name and then WordPress as the subcategory name. So this is the URL or the friendly URL that that is a search engine optimized. Okay, in my uh, next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take these categories that we have created and how to add them to a main navigation menu here at the top so that uh, when blog, when users visit your blog, they can easily notice uh, your uh, top navigation menu and access those categories from the uh, top menu.